celebrate April 20th and the 420 subscriber milestone, I am going to make an eternal weed terrarium. You could say a weed ecosphere, although it's not technically an ecosphere. The most important ingredient for this project is hemp. I want to do a little experiment. I have some seeds from 1995, 2011 and 2012. And I want to see which ones sprout first and if they'll sprout at all. Don't worry, this is completely legal for me to do because I live in the Netherlands. I'm not going to use these plants for anything else but this terrarium. I just think it's a nice plant and quite an interesting choice for a closed terrarium. I will explain why later. After a little over a week, one of the seeds from 2012 sprouted. No others yet. Two days later, all three seeds from 2012 sprouted and none from 1995 and 2011. I didn't really expect the seeds from 1995 to do anything, but I was surprised that the seeds that are only one year older didn't sprout either. I'm going to use this massive, almost 3 gallon, more than 10 liter jar for this project. First, I will add a false bottom, and I'm using these hydro granules. Now I'm using this stainless steel mesh as a divider between the false bottom and the soil. Which will be the next step, adding the soil. I did it off camera, otherwise it would be a complete mess, but believe me, I did it. And as you can see, the stainless steel mesh works perfectly as a divider. Now that the seedlings have had a week to grow, it is time to repot them into their new home. Now I can plant them in the terrarium. I'm also going to add this patch of moss and some dead twigs for aesthetic purposes. But not just for aesthetic purposes. They will also help to make the critters that I will put in here feel more at home. I added some springtails off camera and I'll also add these isopods or roly polies or pill bugs or saw bugs. For Celio Scabber, if anyone's interested. I also got some footage of the springtails which I believe are Cinella curviceta, but you can never be sure with springtails because there are so many different species. I bought this jar because it is supposed to be airtight, but as you can see it has a screw in the middle and some cracked plastic around it, so I am going to put silicone sealant around and on top of it to truly make it airtight. There is also some holes in the rubber seal so I'll put Vaseline around the edge. Now that I've done that, I can seal it off. I said earlier that hemp is an interesting choice for a closed terrarium. There's three main reasons for that. First of all, hemp can grow up to 4 meters tall under ideal conditions. These aren't ideal conditions, but the plant will grow bigger than there's room to grow. So it'll be interesting to see how the plant will work around that. The second reason is that it's an annual plant. That's where the third reason comes into the picture. Cannabis is a dioecious plant, which means there are male and female plants. I've deliberately put three seedlings in the jar in the hope that there's at least one male and one female. So a male plant can fertilize a female plant. If that doesn't happen, all the hemp will be dead in a year and never come back. 
it's going to be interesting to see this close terrarium develop over time. These young plants will grow really fast. So I will make sure to update you. So if you don't want to miss that and if you want to see other projects, well, you're going to have to subscribe. Thanks for watching.